Welcome everybody to the La Casa Nostra cooking show. I'm Massimo, I'm gonna be your host. Uh, my mission here is to show you guys how simple it is to actually cook at home and not going out and spending a whole lot of money. The goal is that you guys take these tips and tricks and whatever we cook, use your imagination and make whatever you want at home and hopefully it turns out just as great. Anyways, let's get to it guys, here we go. Okay, so today, we're gonna make a meat sauce for your pasta or whatever you wanna use it for. Let's start going through the ingredients here. Um, first, you're gonna need a tomato sauce. Uh, we have some fresh frozen basil here. Uh, today we have veal in the fridge, so we're actually use some ground veal instead of ground beef, but you can use whatever you want in your sauce. Um, for the sauce, you're also gonna need onion, uh, extra virgin olive oil, some salt, some pepper, and then we're using this kind of pasta here. So, okay, uh, so we cut up about a half an onion here. Um, we're only going to use about one fourth of an onion. Oil in the pan just to cover the bottom. Go over and dump it in. And you want to get to the onions where they're about translucent and you get that really nice smell to it. Around, get a little translucent here, you get that wonderful smell. Now, is the time where you want to put in your meat. So like I said, we have veal, uh, you can use ground beef, whatever you have, bison, uh, whatever you guys want to at home. I'll throw it in the veal right now. Right here, we're gonna add some salt. All right, salted flavor, same with the pepper. I don't like too much pepper, but it's up to you guys, however you want to make it at home. All right, everybody, uh, now that the veal is about cooked down, there's uh, no pink left, just a little bit of pink. Doesn't, doesn't matter, get down to that, looks good there. So here we're gonna add the sauce now. You wanna add it pretty slowly so it doesn't splatter up. Um, as we'll go ahead, start to add the sauce here. Little trick too, as soon as you finish, we'll get to that in one second, but we'll add all three here. Two, three cans. All right, and then what you could do is come over the sink, add a little water, swish it around, and then dump that in. Now, I don't know if we should do that for the rest of the cans. We can. You can if you want to. You don't want to add too much water at the beginning, uh, but get as much sauce. A little water won't hurt anything. And here's the thing, guys. A good sauce doesn't take all day to cook, okay? A good sauce can take 20 minutes. You don't even need to add the veal, the pork, uh, whatever you put in. You could just use, you could just let this simmer. Once the sauce actually gets to a boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Then after 20 minutes, it's good to throw on your pasta. Uh, if you're, whatever you're making, um, it's good to throw on that. So we'll spin it around here, make sure everything gets incorporated. Take a little bit, there's a lot of sauce in here. And then once it's all incorporated, put a little lid on it. Okay, so the show's called La Casa Nostra, which means our home. Right, and that's derived, I switched it up actually from La Cosa Nostra, and the meaning of that is our thing. And what that comes from is the hierarchy of the Italian mafia. Big into those movies, Goodfellas, Godfather. If you haven't, saw, have you, if you haven't seen them, go check them out, great movies. Uh, other than that, a little bit more about us. Um, actually, my mom's filming in the background. She's helping me through the whole process. So. I'll make the sauce. Of course, I know how to make it, but she's the true chef and knows all the things on how to cook. So she's helping me through this as well. Uh, obviously from Pittsburgh, born and raised, as you see, got to have my Steeler stuff on show. Love this city, 
Love everything we're about. Um, I work for Coldwell Baker. I'm a real estate agent in the area too. So up in the North Hills or all over Pittsburgh, wherever you're at, give me a call. Feel free, I would love to help you guys. Anyways, let's get back to the cooking here. Uh, as you see, we have our pot and we're bringing it to a boil, right? So once the tomato sauce and everything in there gets to a boil, we're gonna take our basil over here. We're gonna take our basil, as you see, then we're gonna give it some time. Uh, so right here, it's about at a boil. Um, we're gonna take the lid off here. Let me show you got something, clean that up, we'll clean it up after. Incorporate the basil. Up to you, how much you wanna throw in. To me, basil's really good, adds a lot of flavor. So we'll mix that in there with everything. So always give it a quick stir so stuff doesn't stick to the bottom, of course. So after that's at a boil and we just brought it down, incorporated the basil, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lid Cover it back up and you're gonna lower the heat. Now you don't want it just to sit. You don't want it the heat where it's barely doing anything. It's a lot of sauce in there, a lot of ingredients. So you wanna make sure where it's at a point where it's still gonna simmer for about 20 minutes or so. So you're gonna let it, like I said, you're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Um, a lot of people think that you need to let it sit there all day and simmer uh, to have that flavor. You don't, you only need 20 minutes. It doesn't take long to make a really good homemade sauce. So as you can see here, you can bring it here. There's little bubbles, that's exactly what you want. You're gonna let that sit 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you set a timer and then we'll start getting to the pasta. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, so while the sauce is simmering, uh, I was stirring it a little bit. Make sure you stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. As you see, some splashed out right on my uh, shirt here. That's when you know it's a little too hot. Anyways, so you're saving time. While it's simmering, you're gonna fill up a pot of water and you're gonna bring it to a boil. Now there's a lot of water in there, so we're gonna use about this much salt, all right? And while it's boiled, you're gonna throw in the salt. There you go, it's hot. After you throw in the sauce, the salt, not the sauce, start to, you know, just stir it in, incorporate it. Now, right here for a meat sauce, you're gonna to wanna to use some type of short pasta. And the reason behind that is because, in this, this is like a penne. Um, it gets, the meat gets inside the penne, it's around it, it doesn't fall off if you have like linguine or fettuccine. You have all that flavor in the pasta itself. So we're gonna go ahead here. Open this up, dump that right in there. Now, when you cook it al dente, al dente means the pasta is gonna be a little bit harder, okay? And you wanna cook it for about 10 minutes, 12 minutes is overcooking it. It even says it on the box, it's that simple. Um, so for about 10 minutes, we're gonna let this cook, let it get al dente. And then the reason you want it al dente is because while it sits, and while you put the sauce in, it's actually gonna cook and it's gonna absorb more sauce. So if you overcook the pasta, it's gonna be really, really soft and you know, might tear apart or something. So that's why you wanna keep it out that day. So throw it in there, give it a stir. You wanna cook it for about 10 minutes. Throw the lid on and let that cook. We're gonna to come to the sauce. Oh, you guys should smell this. Oh, it smells tremendous. Oh. Here we go. I actually want to taste it here. One second. There's your, here we go. I want to burn myself. Mm. Mm. Tremendous. Best you'll have in a while. Throw the rest back in there. Now I'm eating this, so it's all right if I, you know, taste it, so it doesn't matter. I don't want everybody out there. Oh no, lick the paw, he slicked the spoon, he put it back in. Uh. No, we'll be all right. This is 
cooking. You let it cook. Like I said, 10 minutes. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We're just finishing up. The pasta has been cooking for about 10 minutes here. So as you can see, let that go. And shut off the heat. I'm gonna take it over the sink and we're gonna drain it. So careful when you do this. It's it's it's, it's really hot. So I'm gonna bring it over. People save their pasta water. We don't really need it. You don't really need to have it. Um, but this is what we're gonna do. Sauce has been simmering. You could cut the heat on that. We're going to drain this out. So, this is about drained all the way. We're going to put it back in. Here's the fun part. Let's take over the lid. Take this all out. Don't mind that. Uh, <laughs> so here we are. Now we're gonna take a few scoops. Now you wanna, you know, if you like a lot of sauce, you're gonna put a lot of sauce in. If you don't like a lot of sauce, well, you're not gonna put a lot of sauce in. It's that's pretty simple. Or you could just serve it on a plate and then put as much sauce as you want. Me, we like to just. Take it from here and ladle some in. So, what are we thinking, Joel? How many scoops? About four or five scoops. There we go, that's two. Three. Four. A little bit more, five. Mix it around. Now the sauce is hot. The pasta's gonna cook down a little bit, and we're gonna mix it around. There we go. Now you're gonna let it sit. This now this is a crucial thing. See, I like to eat it as soon as it's ready. Uh, <laughs> but what you want to do is you want to let it sit for a little bit so the pasta absorbs the sauce and it doesn't start sliding off. But here, what we're gonna do? Follow me. Come over, grab a little plate here. Can you use this bowl? This for here. Now, a lot of people use Parmesan cheese, so you buy it in the, whatever you want to use, you can. Here we use Pecorino Romano. We get it from Labriola's uh, down in Aspenwall. We're near where we live. And I like to use Pecorino Romano just because it's a little lighter. And when you're using, this isn't a heavy sauce. This is a light sauce, like a thick marinara you would use a Parmesan cheese on it because it's thicker, a little more heavy, has a little more flavor to it. This is really light, mixes really well with the pasta, and you'll see um, coming up here. So we let this sit for a second. Coming on. Let's cover it up here. Give it a couple, couple minutes, and then we'll plate, and we'll see how it is. You guys can smell this. More importantly... We're going to go ahead and taste it. All righty. It's going to be hot, but... Mm. Perfect. There you go, everybody. That's how you make a meat sauce at home. Pretty simple. I would love you guys to try it out. Any suggestions, please send it my way. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, comments on my YouTube. Uh... Feel free, let me know you what you want to see next. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.